I want to tell you about a museum in Erie County that a lot of people may not know about. In fact, it is kind of tiny compared to other museums in the area. But it plays a big role in honoring the men and women who served our country in the military. John Last paid a visit to this edition of The Last Week. My search for interesting stories has once again taken me to Wesleyville. I'm learning so much about this town. For example, I found out Wesleyville has a museum. All right, welcome to the Wesleyville Area Museum. This is the Wesleyville Area Museum of Armed Forces Small Boats. It's a large name for a building that's so small. The museum building measures 12 feet by 24 feet. I have to wonder, how many museums in the country are smaller? Uh, there are some that are in a closet. Uh, some of them, they have a, like a glass cube, uh, 20 feet by 20 feet, in uh, some corporate foyer. Uh, so we're probably middle of the road for the small museums. The room is 12 by 24, but it is jam-packed with fascinating artifacts from conflicts ranging from World War I to the war in Iraq. The museum also honors Wesleyville area citizens who served in those conflicts. The main focus is on small boats that served in U.S. amphibious operations. The museum has an outdoor display that includes a 17-foot patrol boat and a 9-foot lifeboat. During World War II, there were over 300,000 small boats in the amphibious forces, and today they're less than 3,200. And it's simply the technology has advanced, so that many number of boats aren't needed anymore. Being a small boat museum, we do have two small boats. Guy Lombardozzi, a co-founder of the museum, wants to preserve the history of those boats. He served two tours in Vietnam during his four years in the Navy. Uh, a few things I have donated is my boonie hat and my web gear from there. <laughs> Guy also served many years in the Coast Guard Reserves, including 11 years in Erie and six years in Ashtabula. That, that was the Mustang suit that I wore when I was at Station Erie. Many people have donated artifacts to the museum. An army blanket from World War I, Japanese currency from World War II, a high-pitched bosun's pipe used to give commands on ship. Here's an official coffee mug from the Erie Coast Guard Station. The small museum is now full. The directors are working to get a state grant to soon move into a bigger building. In the meantime, visitors are welcome to walk through this tiny museum with the long name. But yes, we, we would love to have folks show up here. And I tell them, save yourself 10 minutes of your life and come on in and we'll take you on the grand tour. With the last word in Wesleyville, John Last. Erie News Now. Full of so many stories inside there. Well, that museum is located at 2911 North Street behind the Wesleyville American Legion. It's open on Saturdays beginning at noon, except tomorrow when it will be closed all day long. And admission is free. The donation of items, though, always appreciated.